Enough about X Men and Advanced Wars. Let's talk about some Smash Four. Ooh, Smash Four. Phenom versus Geo. Uh, SM Phenom at that. So I suppose he might be the newest member. Oh, just kidding. It's just Phenom. Just Phenom. I got baited so hard by M. So hard. So matchup. Uh, we're going to be seeing, I think, another Rob here, and it's going to be the uh, matchup of Fox versus Rob. I think. Uh, I think Geo's Rob a little bit more higher power level. Uh, we've seen, a, I don't know. I've seen a lot more of Gyo's Rob. I've played against it. I've seen it. Uh, this should be a really, really good match simply because these two players are well-known good players that come to Shockwave often. We know that we're going to see a great match between these two. Uh, Phenom, I like Phenom's Fox movement. Out of all the Foxes here, I think his movement is generally the best. He does a lot. He fast falls everything at nearly the perfect height. You'll see a lot of newer players, they'll jump and they won't fast fall and they'll look slow. And then you'll see a lot of mediocre players, they'll jump and they'll fast fall, maybe not always at the perfect timing. But players like Phenom, you will almost, when they want to, they will always fast fall at like the perfect time. And we saw in that last game that Rob can be pretty susceptible to juggles and I think Fox's quick movement, as well as his presence with that really dominant aerial game, might prove to be a bit problematic for Gyo. But so far, what we're seeing from Gyo is that he's done a really good job, I think, of using some of the projectiles as well as some of Rob's aerials, making sure that he can start them up early to make it so that Phenom feels a lot safer just staying onto the ground and not overextending to try and challenge Rob as he's trying to get back. And here we are. We're in that juggle situ situation. What? Rob got a down air. That was, that was pretty <laughs> ambitious to just go for a down air. Hmm. It works though. It works. You know, he Gio, he understands the, the fact that a lot of the aerials have that has those startups. So see them start them up just a touch early, and more often than not, he's able to connect. Them. Yeah, and something to uh, Rob's advantage there in the whole juggle scenario is that Rob does have his up B, so he can basically choose when he decides when he wants to come down. Yeah, kind of like he is now. And Gio's making really cool uses of his down B B reverses. Laser. Oh, oh. Ooh, great reflector there. <laughs> this is where it's going to be a bit trickier, I think, for Phenom. Whereas Rob has plenty of kill confirms off of grabs, Phenom doesn't really get anything off of grabs at these higher percents other than stage control. Shoutouts to that throw being even stronger before one of the patches. <laughs> that that used to murk people. It was bad. Yeah, it's bad. Dakpo does not say the word murk often, so you know just how devastating that was. But... One good aerial KO deserves another. That up smash from Phenom is going to be making this an even game. Really good. Fox's down air is really hard to deal with, too. Like, you can just kind of throw it in someone's face. Oh, so much damage from those up tilts. Nice little look. laser got punished yeah. for it, though. Oh, I didn't even notice he's wearing a melee one tech. Melee one is a player. He didn't, he didn't come out to shock waves. He goes to, uh, pretty sure he used to go to, like, some smaller tournaments. Okay. Down. I said that it was shots for a second. I was like, damn, man. That's messed up. What? What did you think it was? Like, melee one? Not the play. You didn't know that was a player? No. I thought it was like, melee is victorious. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> melee one is a player that he's played oh, off okay. against often. Because I, I was looking at it, I was like, yo, hashtag too soon, bro. Too soon, man. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, Phenom's kind of running away with this. A bit, but uh, we saw... Okay, never mind. Oh, the never melee mind. combo. Me is melee one? <laughs> is melee <laughs> number melee one? <laughs> the getting killed with the melee combo. Yeah. Run off into neutral air, following it up into the up smash. And that was really good for him as well. Uh, generally speaking, Phenom, whenever he was ground-based, Gyo was able to use the shield and basically call out a lot of the up smash attempts. But because he's able to use the aid of the platform, he just dropped down so fast that Gyo wasn't ready for that nair to connect, and it just set up perfectly for the up smash afterwards. Mm. I see. I think uh, one thing you'll see from uh, Phenom a lot, in fact, almost every time, is uh, when he gets on a platform, instead of dropping through it, he will run to the end of it. And that's how he got that melee kill. Exactly. Uh, here we go. And Here's that's, the juggles. I think that's why I'm a bit confused about this counter pick because, again, we saw just how good you know, can utilize those platforms. And again, you're already using some of those runoff nares that you touched on before, Dakpo. And that might make it even more difficult, actually, for Gyo to really find the comeback that he's looking for. He's already down uh, uh, nearly 80% here. He's in those triple digits. 
It's going to be really tough for him to claw back from here. It's possible because Rage is a great mechanic that makes you lose because you're winning. <laughs> I love Rage. Oh, swing arms. House party. Oh, there's the house party. Legitimately raising the roof there with that up tilt. <laughs> Oh, Ooh, that boy. could be a kill. That, oh, oh, it nearly he, was. He hesitated. He started charging his gyro, and then he goes, oh, no, this is the wrong. This is an opportunity. Phenom able to go ahead and avoid both of those projectiles there. Take some control over center. Uh, fun fun idea for you guys who are fighting Fox. If you think the Fox is going to side B onto the stage, roll into the stage. Your invincibility will last through the side B, and then you'll be right next to him, and he will have a little bit of lag. Fox doesn't have very much lag, so be careful, but I mean, you'll be in. Danpo, now sponsored by One Smash. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Almost got the Trump. He's kind of bringing this back. He's. I would start worrying about up throw, because right now, if he gets a grab, he's going to go onto that platform, and he's going to smash his Fox's head into the little platforms, and he's going to die. Oh, but it doesn't matter now. There you now go. Phenom is going to live longer. That's how this game works. This opens things up a lot for Phenom as well. Uh, he can, I, I think he can maybe get, even though he won't have uh, utility from a combo standpoint off of the grabs, he'll still be able to get some nice stage control, which he can convert into some percentage. Man, I just, I just want to give a shout out to all the Shockwave players. The amount of talent has just been going up and up and up at Shockwave. It used to be. Shockwave used to be like, uh, is Dinty there? Is Aerolink there? Okay, those are the winners. Or whatever, if I'm there, which I usually wasn't when the, the game first came out. But like as of recent, there's like a good handful of like nine to ten players at every Shockwave that are threats. And it's crazy. It's so awesome because that means we're all going to get better because we have strong competitions, especially at weeklies, and these get big. And what's crazy is two of those nine or ten players – are duking it out right now. One of them is going to be sent to the loser's bracket. Hey. How many entrants did we have tonight? 62, I believe. That's pretty good. So, Gio really failing to land some of these grabs. I just think that the movement that you were talking about that Phenom has is making it really difficult for him to commit to that option. Great top, though, but not quite quick oh. enough on the dash. The hesitation, again, really costing Gio. That's it. But he's finally able to go and take the stock. He could get gimped. Phenom has to be careful. It's true. Not out of the woods yet, but he can taste victory. One solid up smash away from taking this set off of Gyo. It's a matter of how he's going to be getting in. If I'm Gyo here, I'm very content uh, using the shield. But yeah, uh, that's the thing, that's right? That's funny. Fox uh, in this game doesn't have any follow ups off of grabs, so I'm wondering why Gyo just didn't stay in shield more. Mm, the, okay. Well, the problem is, right? We talked about how Rob gets juggled, right? Generally, yes, your idea of thinking is correct, and I totally agree with that in a lot of scenarios. Uh, the problem, Rob is floaty. He has a hard time getting back onto the stage from the ledge. And in that scenario, he died because he couldn't get out of the corner because uh, he got hit into the air, and then he had to recover from the side and then got back on stage, and then he could never get out of that. So, yes, staying in shield is going to help. You're not going to die. But the thing is, grab is going to put you into a situation where you're in a lot of danger. Right. It, it's the fact that he was constantly at, at disadvantage for the majority of that late game that made it so that Fina was able to get to the point where he could connect that up smash. And that's scary. Man, Phenom is a very scary player. Yeah. Aggression. 